the sailfish is made out about it. Great manufacturer, beautifully presented. How about this colour scheme? Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? I didn't uh, get to see it because it was dark when I got on it, but when I got off it, I thought, wow, that looks really stunning. It yeah, must have looked great you know, in the uh, photography. No, I think this is, um, this is really going to throw a cat amongst the pigeons, so I reckon, here today. Well, let's hope so. Sailfish, been, the name's been around forever, there's no doubt. What are we powering with, mate? It's, it's got uh, 135 Hondas on it, and you'd think for such a big boat, it probably wouldn't perform, but it does. It, it goes really well. Angelo, I reckon there's a big smile on your face. Do you like cats? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's no secret I haven't spent a lot of time in, in cats until I tested a few of these sailfish um, a couple of months ago. And um, although the conditions were nothing like what we tested in the three or four metres that we had um, just after Sanctuary Cove Boat Show, it was awesome. This thing actually planes on one engine at 47 k's um, without any torque steer at all. We could still turn it like we were driving a monohull. Um, I've got to say, for those guys who are looking at transitioning from a mono to a cat and thinking it's going to be an entirely different experience, take it from me, it's really not. Apart from the fact that you're not going to necessarily throw it into a tight turn until you learn to master fiddling around with the two engines. Once you get that, you can do anything you can do in a mono hull, except for when you stop. That's oh, and then you can spin it in a circle on its own length. Absolutely, and the stability, it's, it's like standing on a jetty. I hadn't driven a cat before. Oh, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, first time. First time, and you know, there's all those mats fighting around, yep. so I was a little bit apprehensive, but as soon as you got behind that wheel, so responsive on the, on the helm, on the throttles, and just the ride. Just the way, you know, it, it just comes over and just caresses the top of the wave. No, there's no smacking up in the air or anything. Yeah, it was uh, very, very impressive. It's very impressive, mate. And cats just get that air up under the tunnel. Yeah. It's that big cushion. And every now and again, you actually see the blowout, you know. Yeah. And it is so much air just coming up and, and softening that right. Yeah. And when you look down at the uh, speedo, you can't actually believe how quickly you're going. Exactly. No doubt about it. Mate, the layout, how big is this for a fisherman? I mean, you could fish 10 people around the back of that boat. Yeah, definitely. And as a diver, the first thing I saw was that nice walk through at the back, you know, step straight down, big dive ladder on there, just perfect for that too. Exceptionally good rod. Um, cats are, are, are pretty difficult boats because you, you get good ones and you don't get good ones, you know, you get pretty shitty ones as well. Um, this is far from it, it is just, it's top class. It's quite towable. It was only two and a half or two to twenty four hundred or something on the trailer on the road, so it's not too bad for a boat of this size. I mean, it's gigantic inside. You'd actually fish ten people bottom dancing if you wanted to. Oh, pretty easy. It's got the space on it, so um, yeah, you could load this thing up with as many people as you like, just about. And what I really enjoy as well is I always find two holes are better than one. <laughs> one breaks, you still got another one, and two engines are better than one as well. You know, so. And this planes on one engine. Easily planes on one engine. Yeah, 40 something k's an hour, you know, so it's going to get you home as well if you had an issue.